for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff at the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a new update video. I really didn't think I was going to make another one of these this year, although I did hear rumors that another update was coming. Uh, the last title of my last update video was, this is the last Madden update of Madden 22. I guess I got that wrong. But ultimately, today, there was an update released, and it's kind of meaty. I've, I've seen some people say it's really not that much of an update. But considering how far along we are in the year, I don't know, maybe I'm just more of a positive person. I think this is a pretty meaty update for something that's coming out a week before the NFL draft. Uh, and I think that this is something that's definitely uh, video worthy. Now, a lot of this is based off of uh, Madden 22 franchise mode, which I don't really spend a lot of time doing. But I got to be honest with you, given that the uh, the year is almost done, in my private life, I might uh, play this franchise mode a little bit. Um, just to basically, uh, you know, see what it's like to do go through these scenarios. Because I played franchise mode when I started this channel. I did a lot of franchise mode content, and I haven't really done a lot of it lately. So if you guys want to see more uh, franchise mode content in the future, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. If you want to see me continue these updates as well, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, which that's much more likely to happen whether you hit the like button or comment or not. You know what I mean? But ultimately, this is um, this is a pretty good update. So let's go and let's get right into it. Now, number one, like I said, the key one of the key highlights is new scenarios at the franchise that's what i'm going to spend most of this time talking about and quite a few of them got me intrigued like the, I'm, I'm kind of reading these and i want to see what they're about so that's what i meant when i said i, I kind of want to start dipping into to franchise mode a little more it's it's enough see that's the thing ea they really felt the heat by by leaving franchise mode behind for so many years and it was enough that number one they they, they seriously seem to be addressing it even though they didn't get out all the stuff that they said they would get out like the uh, the scouting i think you're gonna have to wait till madden 23 from the looks of it but I like the fact that EA is seriously addressing this so much so that they're addressing it all the way through the course of the year. I mean, this is way later than I expected any uh, patches to come. So, like I said, this to me gets me excited. It makes me want to possibly jump back into franchise mode. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Other than that, like I said, new scenarios, that's one of the biggest things. There's an increase to unlock scouting percentage. I don't know what the point of that is. It's just a small change in the game, I guess. But ultimately, um, you know, there was scouting was one of the big promises that they still failed to deliver. They did not deliver uh, this current Madden cycle anyway, uh, the new scouting that they're talking about, which I'm sure a lot of people will, will be a point of contention going forward. But like I said, maybe that'll come out next year. This might, this that, that seems more like a bone, you know, just throwing a bone to the Madden audience uh, to make it seem like they addressed scouting, I guess, which in all reality they did not. Uh, then it's apparently there's some additional goals added for the franchise staff, uh, and they fixed a, a glitch which they were calling the red route, which is something I had heard of, uh, but it really wasn't that big of a glitch because it only really worked against Tampa 2, if I'm correct. So as far as gameplay updates, it just said general stability fixes, which means luckily for me I don't have to go through and uh, relearn how the defenses play from the sounds of it, because typically when they say general stability, it just means nothing too crazy. Although in reality. A lot of times they do patch stuff that they don't report in, especially my stuff that they don't report in this particular, uh, in these things that I'm reading, the uh, the Madden 22 uh, title updates that come out from the official website. Lots and lots of stuff every year um, gets patched undercover and it probably gets put under the guise of general stability fixes. So, you know, that's just part of the game is that they, they fix bugs all the time. They fix they fix glitches all the time. A lot of which I might show on this channel and a lot of them might get, uh, might get patched. So if your favorite play isn't working, that was because of general stability fixes. Now, as far as the red route issue, this is something that, like I said, I've seen a couple other YouTubers do it. I never made a video about it myself because to me it wasn't glitchy enough. If it's only going to work against Tampa 2, Cover 2 Zone, there's no real point in making a video about it because Cover 2 Zone is not necessarily one of the most run defenses. It's a pretty popular defense, but to me it wasn't worth making if it's only about one defense. You guys probably see my videos. I make one play touchdowns against every single defense. If I put out a pass play, it's, it's going to score against every single defense. That's pretty much how I roll. Now, what was the red route? issue now basically there was a play where all you had to do was put the uh put the red route on a wide receiver screen and then you could roll out and the entire defense would run right after the quarterback uh you know pretty cool like i said i mean if it's it's a cool glitch if you know somebody's running cover two but realistically 
Um, like I said, I only worked against color too, so I never really found myself. I never even learned how to do it. Uh, and it's something that's patched now anyway, so it won't work anymore. I don't know if it was something that only worked in a specific play or if it worked in the, any play, but I did see a couple other uh, you know, YouTube channels putting out some stuff about it. They also fixed a play art issue, um, which I think what they're talking about here is when you, they're saying when you flip a play, it takes too long to update. That to me, if, if it's what I'm thinking of, it's actually when you motion a receiver, when you do anything, uh, the, the, a lot of times, you know, if you look at the play art before the receiver crosses the field, like the, the diagram is still showing like the receiver is on the left and he's moving to the right. I mean, there's a lot of play, you know, if that's what they're talking about, that's actually, it's small, but it's something that's kind of annoying because play art sometimes, if you're kind of planning out pre-snap where you're gonna go with the ball and the play art is messed up, it makes it a little bit more, uh, a little more difficult to plan on where you're throwing the ball because you, sometimes the play art's kind of screwy. That can really mess things up. So these are all, you know, nice additions. But ultimately, like I said, this is really more about the franchise updates. Now, the first franchise update seems kind of weird because I could have swore they said that they fixed this in the previous patch. They said they fixed an issue where users were unable to select the player on their turn for both solo and multiplayer franchise leagues. I thought I could have swore I read that in the last video or maybe even the video prior, but this is not the first time that I've read that they fixed that issue. Uh, I'm not going to go back through my old video and find that, but this is this is something that I guess a lot of times they say they fix stuff and they really didn't fix it. So who knows if this is really fixed or not? Uh, I know how annoying that could be. I mean, a draft is super important, especially if you were waiting uh, an entire. A lot of people like to just stock up draft picks and go into a draft with a ton of draft picks if you can't make those picks when it comes to turn. You know what I mean? It's just that's that's something I'm sure. So somebody used to play franchise a lot that would drive me crazy if I didn't get to pick my own player. Uh, but ultimately. That's something that they said that they fixed again, so we'll see if that's true. Now, there's also something to do with scouting. Like I said, they didn't give the big scouting um, change that they were promising, but they are, like I said, they threw a bone to the scouting uh, people, the people that have problems with scouting. It says the general scouting portion of scouting now provides a 10% unlock of informative view for prospects. Uh, it also says that there's a bonus based off a of tier. So if you're a tier one scout, two to five percent, tier two, five to fifteen percent, tier three, ten to twenty-five percent. So, and that, you know that's something that, uh, like I said, it just feels like they're throwing a bone to people that don't want to, that were probably going to complain that they didn't fix the scouting, uh, which you know doesn't necessarily take care of the issue at all. Now there's a lot of really cool sounding scenario updates. I noticed a few of these really sound similar, um, like they're all based off of having a weak defense. Um, so let's go ahead and get get right into those. X Factor Hot Streak. The X Factor Hot Streak uh, scenario occurs when facing an X Factor defender coming off of a big game in the previous week. Uh, you basically got to figure out a way to shut that guy down. And they're basically saying if you don't figure out a way to shut him down early, it's going to be a huge problem. So, depending on the position of the player, you will be tasked with slowing them down in different statistical categories and extinguishing the fire. To make matters more challenging when this scenario occurs, the player will start the game with their X Factor activated, meaning you'll need to direct attention to them immediately or risk them wrecking your game early. Like I said, that's pretty cool. You know what I mean? Like stuff like that. These, things like that. Maybe I didn't pay enough attention to, uh, you know, scenarios and uh, CFM. But things like this. The little challenges that they that pay, they pose that games like you know regular online head to head which I play a lot or mutt that I play a lot don't really have unique challenges like this and I thought that was kind of cool like I said it makes me want to try this out a little bit more uh, it says if you manage to keep them in check you'll be able to earn rewards that can be anything from XP to temporary boosts as well as staff points now the next couple like I said really sound like they're all based off of defense that particular one sounds like it's based off of defense as well. Um, although realistically a defensive player can have that uh, but team the next one's called team turmoil team turmoil scenario emulates growing frustrations between a thriving offense and a struggling defense like i said a lot of these sound the same when it comes to defense if you find yourself on a losing streak with one of the league's best offenses while also fielding one of the league's lowest ranked defenses you may and that sounds like a really common scenario by the way i'm sure a lot of people have really good offenses but can't play defense because i hear that a lot you may find yourself at a crossroads and having to answer questions about a divide in the locker room this will provide your defense with the opportunity to step up and quell some of the frustrations in the locker room, but beware as another poor performance from the defense could send your whole team spiraling and looking for answers. Like I said, stuff like that sounds really cool. That the fact that you could still win a game and then, you know, because your defense doesn't perform, although they did say a losing streak, but just the fact that, you know, there's so much riding 
on a single performance is just so cool compared to like a regular online game which doesn't have that. The next one's called Unstoppable Force. How do you stop the Vaughn in Unstoppable Force? That's what you'll be tasked with tackling when one when facing one of the league's best offenses coming off a strong performance in their previous game. Formulate a game plan around creating constant pressure, stuffing the run or creating turnovers, and take that challenge into your game that week for the opportunity to provide your defense with a momentum boost moving forward. So like I said, a lot of defensive focused stuff. This next one here is called Weak Link and it sounds a lot like Team Turmoil, although this is more uh, based going into a playoff game. Now, the Weak Link scenario fires when your team has made the playoffs despite feeling one of the league's worst defensive units. Like I said, it sounds very familiar. The media will question not only your ability to make a deep playoff run, but also your ability to even win a playoff game. Similar to the Unstoppable Force scenario, they're comparing it to Unstoppable Force, but like I said, to me it sounds a lot more like Team Turmoil. Um, I mean, they, like I said, they all sound pretty similar, that's the whole point I'm trying to make. But ultimately, similarly to Unstoppable Force scenario, you'll be tasked with how you need your defense to step up that week. And based on the results of the game and their success, you have an opportunity to build momentum to help you make a Super Bowl run. So like I said, a lot of these momentums, they sound pretty cool. They sound like, uh, or a lot of these scenarios sound pretty cool. The last one is going to be bye week Now this one's pretty cool. I don't know if there's any like uh, animations that you get with this, but uh, some of the scenarios you get to choose on bye week uh, sound pretty cool. Although apparently it's already in the game. This is an updated version. So we've updated our bye week scenario from text messages to modular cinematics, which makes it sound like you're gonna get to see something uh, with all new choices and impacts. During your bye week, you'll be asked how your team is handling the off the week off. You'll be posed with choices of taking a team to a, uh, a team bonding retreat to build team chemistry or self-scouting to identify weaknesses to correct coming out of the bye week or continuing to grind through the week to help with the development of your players. Now, each choice comes with its own positive and negative effects. And as a coach, it's on you to decide what your team needs and how to put them in the best position to succeed in the stretch run of the season. Like I said, that sounds pretty cool. I want to see what the um, what the what the team building, uh, the team chemistry retreat looks like, um, if if it really has a cinematic. Like I said, little things like that sounds pretty cool. And it's stuff like that to me that that needs to be more needs to be in the game to make it more immersive. And I don't really like I said, getting that from playing regular online head to head. I just like playing people online. To be honest with you, I like playing humans. The last one here. This is goal updates. Uh, from what, I, what it sounds like, this is all for like the coaching staff. This is something that uh, they're all kind of small. It's just a, it's just a couple. I'm sure there's there's a lot of them in the game already. These are all kind of small. One says 30 points or more added to the head coach goal. Uh, there's also one uh, 17 points or less, basically holding your opponent under 17 points or less. Another coach goal. Uh, then you have added two offensive touchdowns to the offensive coordinator goal. That sounds pretty easy. Uh, added 21 points or more to the offensive coordinator goal. That sounds kind of easy. Uh, added two two turnovers to the defensive coordinator goal. That one, you know, turnovers come and go. You never know when you're going to get them. Uh, and then the last one is allow less than 275 yards passing as a defensive coordinator goal. So, you know, a lot of real simple stuff there. But ultimately, like I said, to me, as somebody who doesn't play a lot of franchise mode, and I've been doing these updates, which are basically exclusive to franchise mode, they're kind of they're kind of wetting my whistle. They're getting me interested. I think I really am going to dip my toe into franchise mode so that hopefully next year I can do an entire series on it. If you guys want to see that, like I said, let me know in the comment section. I'm going to end the video there, though. No more information. That seems about to, you know, to be the most... Uh, of it uh, and if I find any more stuff if they drop more updates I'll try to keep you guys abreast of that as well so that's it that's the video if you guys want to see more videos like this hit the like button let me know in the comment section uh, that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below